Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so you guys know how this goes. Channel messages first. Okay, so in my third eye, I'm seeing the strength card. Strength is about having the patience, having the perseverance, pushing forward. Strength, okay, true, true strength, finding the strength from within. And I'm seeing that right now because I'm seeing so much resentment. That word resentment came up yesterday and it's coming up again today. Resentment and grief. So if you've been going through resentment, okay, that's when you just like, you have this thing about it. It's just like you get the ick about people because of resentment. You're harboring so much unforgiveness. Sometimes it's unforgiveness of yourself. Sometimes it's unforgiveness of others. It's unforgiveness that boils up deep down inside of you that makes you kind of like react differently as you normally should. So I'm seeing resentment, I'm seeing strength, and I'm also seeing the word grief. So some of you guys have resentment due to grief. You may have lost a loved one. You may have, um, you know, lost somebody super close to you. You might also be grieving over your old self. Sometimes we grieve over the past on who we used to be, trying to be that person again, but you need to understand that we evolve every day. Life is about adapting. So if you're not growing, you're not, you're not going anywhere. Some of you all feel like, okay, I miss the old person from high school. I miss the old person from college. Some of you all are grieving over old self and old ways. Others are grieving still over a family member. I'm seeing like past loved ones, somebody's close, like maybe a child, maybe a grandmother, mother, uh, father, grandfather, cousin, um, or somebody like super close to you, you know? Brother, sister, even a past loved one, like a loved person, somebody you were in deep love with. You know, sometimes we can be grieving and not even really truly know that we're still grieving. Years and years after something traumatic happens. And I have something for you all today. Um, I actually had a verse, Isaiah 57 talks about how sometimes we leave the earth because Father takes us away from the things to come. Things are getting worse and worse and worse. And that's the reason why some of our loved ones have left this earth because they, they've completed their mission. Now it's your turn to complete your mission. So Father is saying focus. I'm hearing that word focus right now. Focus on your mission. Because you need to let go of some of the things and some of the people that, you know, didn't mean you well, meant you harm. Um, sometimes we even abuse ourselves. Some things that we do to ourselves, we neglect our own self. So I'm seeing that completely right now, is that you need to have the strength to let some of those things go in order to forgive yourself. I'm also seeing letting go of family members. You might have lost a close family member, and that's what you all have in common. We call that trauma bonding, okay? But some family members don't wish you well. They are waiting on your downfall. They're praying on your downfall. You know I talk about that word pray, P-R-E-Y. They're praying on you instead of praying for you. And some of the lost loved ones that we've lost, they prayed for us. Some of you guys have seen them in your dreams. Some of you all have seen them while walking in visions. You know, sitting daydreaming, you've seen these people. That's because they prayed for you, not prayed on you. And when you go through some of life's toughest moments, you know, like I said yesterday, it's test time. Test time is not just one day. Usually it's about a few days or a week. You're just going through it and you don't know why. And most of the time, that's when you want to draw on your family members, the ones who've helped you in your childhood. I know my grandmother was my rock. And when I go through things, I think about her so much. I'm like, man, I wish you were here. And I talk to her. I just stand outside sometimes and talk to her. Because that's beneficial. It helps your soul. And they hear you and they support you. Again, you might catch it in a vision. You might catch it in a dream. You might even just see your life just change after you talk to your loved one. Instead of resenting the fact that they're gone. Instead of being, you know, still being grief struck in. You know, I'm seeing somebody still struggling with that. Still struggling with it because the only way to get through grief, the only way to get through resentment is to go through it. You can't go around it. You can't go over it. You can't dig a tunnel and go beneath it. You have to literally go through that emotion. Those two emotions are really, really strong emotions. You have to talk it out. You can't keep those kind of words in your brain. When you want to talk to your loved one, you can't keep that in your mind. You have to sit down, sit and pray, pray to Father. He hears you, pray to your angels, they hear you. They deliver these messages to your people. 
So trust that and understand that. I'm also seeing that number 333, which is your ancestors and your people are around you and they're helping you, they're supporting you. I've been saying this for a week now because I've been seeing it myself. I've been seeing that in my third eye. Lots and lots of spiritual support. So even if you don't think that these people are still around supporting you, you got to change your view, change your mind on this. And remember to forgive yourself. The way to get out of resentment is forgiveness, being truthful about the situation, and being thankful. Thankfulness brings you up out of it as well. You might want to say some words. You might want to say, man, I can't understand why you're gone. I don't know why. I could have helped. I wish I could have did this. I wish I could have did that. I wish I could have saved you. Whatever the case may be, I'm hearing all kinds of things right now, you know? And all I can say is that the only thing that you can be thankful for is thank you. Thank you for showing me a different way. Thank you for teaching me. Because most of the time, these people that we still grieve over have taught us a major, major life lesson. Whether directly or indirectly through their life or through their words. So you have to be thankful, you know. Things could be worse. You got to think about it like that. And even if you did hit the worst case scenario in your life, understand that Father has taken you out of that. So don't always think about the negative thoughts and the negative things and the negative, you know, things surrounding your people. Think about the loving things. Things could be worse. And even if they were worse, at least you're out of it now. And now you can teach others. You can be the light to someone else to teach others. That's the whole mission right now, okay, is to learn something and then pass it down. Think about your favorite um, coach, your favorite teacher, your favorite whoever. They were relatable to you in some way because they, they found a way to get through something and they were able to teach you. And you came into their life for a reason. So now your mission is to come into other people's lives for a reason. You might not know what that reason is, but to shine your light bright and to be thankful of every moment that we get. And that is how we get over resentment. That is how we get over grief. You have to be the light to someone else, you know? There's a reason why somebody was your favorite teacher. or your, th There's a reason why this person was so impressionable on you. You know, favorite teacher, favorite aunt, favorite uncle, favorite mother. I don't know. I mean, not favorite mother, favorite grandmother or whatever the case may be. This person was your favorite family member for a reason. They were your favorite person for a reason. And now it's your turn. They passed the torch down for you to teach. So teach happiness, teach love, teach how to support each other spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Those are the things that impressionable that were impressionable to your mind that you remember from your person. So don't forget 333. Don't forget 1111. You, you've manifested this, this happiness into your life. You've, you've known this, that this person was going to bring you joy in some way, even after they passed on. The lessons still live on. It's what I'm hearing. The lesson still lives on. And then for some reason, I keep seeing the light, the light, the light. I walked outside today and I saw the sun and the sun is shining so bright, you guys. It's beautiful. And I'm over here like, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. Y'all know I can't sing. Don't judge my life, but you know. When skies are gray, they make you happy. That's the person that you think about. You'll never notice how much they love you. And you're like, please don't take my sunshine away. It's not gone. It is not gone. That light still lives within you, okay? And I'm thinking about different paths too. Like your path is different. Your path is different. Their path was different. It taught you some things and they taught other people around them some things. Your path is different. I remember this song by Big Creed. He goes, um, our paths are different. So don't jump the train. Hell, we can't complain for this borrowed time. So don't miss you yours because you can't borrow mine, okay? So that's what I have for you all today. Let's be in a place of thankfulness, in a place of, you know, being the light unto others. You are the light of the world. Make sure your light shines bright. No matter what you've been through, no matter what path your thing has, has put you on, what father has put you on to learn these lessons, don't think of it as, oh, this person didn't have to go through that, or I, I went through this too much, and whatever the case may be, you're going to help somebody. So remember that. You are the light. It's time to help and teach others. So that's what I have for you all today. Let's get into today's messages. Thank you so much for your time. As usual, thank you. Hi, Divine Masculine. Okay, so you know how we do it. Situation, action, outcome. Let's see what's going on with you today. What's the situation, what your action is, and what could be the outcome, okay? Let's see. 
Father, what is a uh, divine masculine situation for today, Father? Rebuild, okay? This is a tower moment that's happened, and now it's time to rebuild. The test has happened. It was meant to break you down. A lot of people don't understand why a test comes. Why am I going through this? It was meant to break you so you can rebuild. We've talked about this yesterday. Building back up again. And I don't know why I just heard that song. We fall down, but we get up. <laughs> For a saint, it's just a sinner who fell down. But he didn't stay there and got up. So that's you, Divine Masculine. You are, you, you've fallen, but it's okay because that was the point to get back up and start over, okay? Look, you've fallen. Look, action is to find balance. Find balance on today. Your action is to find balance. I told you, I just heard that song. I'm getting chills now. Jeez, Louise, that's crazy. Jesus, okay? Fall down, but get back up again. It may feel like, okay, why did I have to go through that? Don't question why, just question what's your next move? How can you find balance again? And that goes with everything in life. You see there's an engagement ring there, that's love. You got the, the rose there, you got the time thing there. All things in life need balance right now for you, Divine Masculine, because there has been something that's knocked you down and it was on purpose. And it wasn't there to, it wasn't sent to daze you and keep you in a, a state of stupor is what I'm hearing. It was sent in order to help you gain clarity on what to do next. You had to take, you had to take away the foundation. The foundation was cracked. So now it's time to rebuild. What's the outcome, Father, for Divine Masculine? What is the outcome? What's the outcome for Divine Masculine, Father? Oh, throat chakra, I speak. And then it says, share the love, these two cards. Throat chakra, now it's time to get clarity on what you need to say next. Speak your truth. Be bold about it. Share your truth. And I keep talking about teaching. So teaching. Don't be embarrassed about anything that you've gone through. Now is the time to share the story. What have you learned from this? Don't be afraid of the truth. You can say, hey, yeah, I was in addiction before. Hey, yeah, I was... I was messed up before. Hey, yeah, I was listening to family before. Yes, I did this, I did that. To claim it, then it has no claim over you. So speak your truth. Speak it clearly and loudly so people can understand. It's not a shameful thing to go through things. It's absolutely enlightening. It's, it's there for people to see that nobody's perfect, number one. And, and Father uses the imperfect. In every story of the Bible, he uses the people that were not perfect. The only perfect person in the Bible that was sent here was Jesus. And he was sent here to show us what love really looked like. And he even got mad. Don't forget Jesus flipped the table, okay? <laughs> but your, um, your underlying thing here is to seek the truth, okay? Seek the answers from within. So that's meditation, going within. You need to be in solitude right now because you just had a huge major moment in your life. A tower moment is not something to take lightly. Huge, major, major test, okay? Be outside, be in nature. Really talk to Father, see what your next move is because he's trying to guide you on how to build this, how to rebuild it. You can't go off of ego anymore. You have to go off of what he tells you to do. Give me an angel card for Divine Masculine today. Angel card says, Archangel Lavender, prepare for soul healing. Forgive and release everyone. <laughs> what? I've been saying that. Release it. Release it. It's time to let go of some things. Even that past pain that you have, you have resentment within yourself and you have resentment towards others. It's time to let that go. If you're grieving over something, again, forgiveness. It's time to let that go. And again, letting go of people around you that no longer serve you. Those people... They, they didn't mean you well. You thought so, okay? It felt good at the time, but really, 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 they didn't help you grow. Be around only people that help you grow. Give me a twin flame card. What does this divine masculine need to know in their love life right now, Father? What do they need to know in their love, okay? Karmic ties. Past lives are influencing our connection. I've lost you in other lifetimes, and it makes me afraid. I need to heal the grief to allow love to bloom. Didn't I just say something about grief in the channel messages? Y'all, I cannot make this up. 
I know what I see that's amazingly crazy to me, you know, in a good way. Karmic ties though, releasing past life, whatever, that baggage no longer needs to be here. And the only way to release grief and resentment is to forgive, okay? Forgiveness is key. Because we're fighting something way bigger. What would you like to tell your divine feminine? Divine masculine, what would you like to tell your divine feminine today? And this card comes up, justice. <laughs> The justice card, it says, I need emotional balance. I'm reviewing my life to relief, release myself from karmic binds and toxic situations to find peace. You're releasing yourself from karmic situations and binds. Toxic situations, toxic people, you're releasing it because it's time to rebuild. It's time to find that balance that you need. And by doing so, what, what you need to be doing is speaking your truth, okay? Sharing the love, sharing what you've learned, all right? So that's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. I hope this information helped and bless. Thank you so much for your time. Let's go to the next video for the next message. Thank you. Divine Feminine, okay? So you know how we do it. Situation, action, outcome. Let's see what Father has for you today. Let's see. Situation. What's the situation for Divine Feminine today? Oh, heart chakra, I love, okay? Keeping your heart open, all right? Keep your heart open, that's the situation for today. Keep your heart open, speak your truth on what you love and who you love. <clears throat> and right then and there, my throat chakra got blocked a little bit, see? It's that, it's that play off of uh, divine masculine as well. You love your divine masculine. It's time to just, you know, love on your person, your action. Crown chakra, I know. You know that you love your person, okay? I don't need to sit here and tell you this, but you know that you love your person. You know it. So don't deny it. Don't push away or try to, like, you know, move on, those kind of things. What's the outcome, Father? What is the outcome for divine feminine? I'm here don't try to move on because there's dedicated effort. You've been fighting the good fight when it comes to this. And your divine masculine is transforming right now, okay? So everything that you've been working on for yourself and for, you know, really to strengthen your connection. When you work on yourself, truly you work on your connection without even knowing it. When you become a better person, you really kind of mirror each other and y'all become better people together. Because you focus on what's in front of you and then together, look, there he's, he's making a painting of two people. And then togetherness comes. Union comes in when you find balance within yourself. Bottom of the deck energy for you is dreams coming true. So don't worry about it, Divine Feminine. Your dreams are coming true. The things you've prayed for, the things you've manifested, the things you've been hoping and wishing for. And I'm even hearing financial blessings as well. You're getting abundance. And remember, I always say abundance in all areas. That means peace, prosperity, love. Prosperity being one out of all of them, you know, one out of peace, happiness, you know, abundance in all areas, divine feminine. So let's get an angel card for you as well. What, what do you want to say for divine feminine? This angel card came. Archangel Parliament. <laughs> Let nature soothe you. Serve the nature kingdom. So Divine Feminine, it's time for you to go outside. Go outside and ground yourself, balance yourself, make sure you are in alignment with yourself, okay? Because this is coming true. You need to really, really understand that your dreams are coming true. And look at all this green, all this love, 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 love. And I, I'm here to feel the love you have to be outside, to feel how loving and to feel Father's embrace be outside. Because it really does feel amazing. This morning I went outside and I just felt the sun and I just kept saying, I'm thankful for the sun. The sun's beams on me this morning was just beautiful. So just spending a little time in nature, even if it's two or three minutes, five minutes, whatever the case, whatever you can spare. Father's saying, it's really going to help you. Breathing in that fresh air, okay? It's going to help you. Let nature soothe you, okay? Because you know that you love. You know who you love. You know the things that you love in life. So it's time to go after that and not be afraid is what I'm hearing. You kind of have some fears surrounding your love life right now and surrounding your finances right now. And you can't attract anything with fear. Okay, Divine Feminine, let's see what your love life is looking like. Look, it says surrender, timing and intentions. Surrender brings us 
together faster than resistance. Stop resisting this divine feminine. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a long time to continue to keep the hope. But look at the sun here. Look, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Look at this beautiful sun in this background. Divine Feminine, this is absolutely for you. I know it's been a long time, but remember that Father has these plans. Everything is in divine timing, and divine timing is divine. Okay, so surrender to the timeline. Don't think about it. Just work on you. The more you work on you, the more you attract what you need and what you're supposed to have. Everything is for that's for you is for you. Nobody can take that away. Nobody can steal that. So remember that and just keep attracting what you need, what you want out of this life. What would you like to tell your divine masculine today? Divine feminine, you'd like to say the empress. Boop. I am beautiful. I'm a beautiful, loving being and I deserve love. And you do. So remember that going forward today, just that you deserve love. Love, 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 love is your underlying thing. You deserve for your wish to come true. You deserve a wish fulfillment. You know that you love this person. You know it. You know who your love is. You know it. So continue to surrender. And again, surrendering means being outside, letting go. Just surrender. Let go. All right? I'm seeing the scene of like, a, what's that, Titanic? When they're like, that's what I'm seeing right now. That's how much release you have to do, Divine Feminine. Let go. You're beautiful and you deserve love. Absolutely. So that's what I have for you, okay? Let's go to the next video for the next message. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, so this is your love message, okay? Love message for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, all right? Um, this is my deck, the Just Dream Guide Twin Flame Oracle deck. It will be pre-order sales start next week, okay? So I'll be posting that on my website as well as the other deck. I have um, the... Twin Flame Oracle Part 2 as well, okay? So that will be available next week. So let's get into it. Let's see what Father has for us today. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What would you like to tell the collective today, Father? First card that comes out is wedding. Somebody's got wedding bells on the brain, okay? Commitment, like true commitment that somebody wants to give to you. Divine Masculine is really thinking about marriage these days, okay? They are really thinking about it, all right? Look, they may be distracted with life a little bit, though. It's a lot going on in Divine Masculine's life, okay? Just remember that a lot of Divine Masculines have gotten out of a major, major tower moment. Something really big has recently happened, and now they're in the point of rebuilding. So they're focused on many, many things right now, okay? But they do have wedding being one of them, all right? Wedding is one of them. Divine Feminine, you're still part of their priority list. Look, transformation comes out. They have been transforming. And transforming takes a lot of energy as well. Sometimes people don't understand this, that spiritually, a transformation takes a lot of energy. It makes you tired a lot, especially when you have a lot of things going on. You sleep a lot when you're going through a transformation, all right? I know because I went through my own transformation and it was a heavy, heavy sleep, okay? But now it's time to be, you. your person's being brave. They're being brave in life. They're going after the things that they want now. They're not worried about what other people think anymore. They don't care what the family says. They don't care what their friends say. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. And I just heard, um, I just heard this song. Nobody want to see us together, but it don't matter, no. He say, fight. Oh, yes, we gonna fight. Believe we gonna fight. Fight for our right to love, yes. <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm hearing that song. That's amazing, all right? Okay? Your person has blocked off any other distractions, okay? Or you may have been blocked or you might be blocked at this time, but I'm hearing strongly that your person has blocked out any other distractions. So if you're thinking that there's karmic situations going on, more than likely it's not, okay? Um, I'm seeing that somebody has blocked out all other distractions because they're distracted with things that are more important to them in life right now. All of these things that they're trying to keep juggling, which includes making you happy, thinking about weddings, thinking about getting things right this time, thinking about this transformation that they're undergoing right now, okay? So um, you might have been blocked in this connection, but 
Don't worry, it's not for long because they are transforming. This is all for their good. If they blocked you, it's because they need time to themselves to get their things together, okay? Somebody might be struggling with some kind of going on as well. That might be another distraction, okay? STD comes up. So you might be, be careful when this person comes back in. Or you know what I mean? Because I, when I say that, I saw somebody comment one day and was like, well, if they have that, then I don't want them. I mean, some... Things are curable, and I'm seeing this being a curable situation. It's just, that's part of their tower moment. Some people have gone through tower moments where they've contracted something, and that was the lesson. Not to sleep around. That was the lesson. And so, again, compassion there. I know it's hard to think about, and it's triggering to a lot of people, but have compassion there, because this whole thing is about your bloodline. This whole thing is about your lineage. I talk about it all the time here about Ruth and how if Ruth wouldn't have gotten with Boaz, we wouldn't have had King David and we wouldn't have had Jesus. That whole bloodline meant something. It means something, okay? So it's about the lineage here, okay? So don't get distracted with a piece of the story. Think about the bigger picture. Give me two more cards, Father, and two more cards came out. It's about attracting the abundance in your life. This is about lineage. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is bigger than you. Even if that situation may have happened, this is bigger than you, okay? This got y'all a little stressed. Both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are a bit stressed about this whole situation. But no worries here. I'm not seeing too many worries here. I'm not seeing anything majorly, majorly coming in, okay? As far as there's no more karmic situations or whatever. There's no more, um, you know, things that I'm seeing here. All I'm seeing is somebody transforming because of these lessons. And some of these lessons were very hard lessons. Okay, I'm also seeing some things involving legal, it's some lessons that were very, very hard, okay? Stressed, get rid of it. It's not your stress. It's not your thing to even think about. Let go of the things that don't serve you, okay? Let go. Let go of their process. That's their path. That's their process. If they have to go through it, they have to go through it. The only way to get through it is to completely go through it. You can't learn a lesson for them. Some people can't learn lessons through words. They have to learn them through actions. So whatever drama that's not your drama, let that go. And focus on the love. I'm hearing focus on the love. So focus on the love. Focus on the abundance that's coming in. Once this love and this union comes in, focus on the love. Don't be distracted by small things. So that's what I have for you, Divine uh, Masculine and Divine Feminine. I hope this information helped to bless you really, really and truly. And again, if you were triggered by this, just pray about it. Because honestly, triggers only tell you what you still need to work on. So let's go to the next video for the next message. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Okay, so I want to do a spirit animal, okay? Because, you know, when it comes to our loved ones, they do come back in certain forms and certain spiritual aspects okay and i also want to pair it oh excuse me i also want to pair it with a um a tarot card birth of truth though that was the truth okay they do come back in spiritual ways so let's see divine masculine what's your spirit animal what is your spirit animal divine masculine Ooh, puffin partnership you are thinking about your partnerships right now okay you definitely are puffin partnerships it says, accept yourself in your colorful personality. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. And you know this already, Divine Masculine. You know that you need a team right now, okay? And it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to say that you can't do something or you need some help doing something or whatever the case may be. We all need help in this world. It's okay. All right? And I'm hearing puffing. I'm thinking, like, don't be puffing yourself out, like, thinking that you're, you know, I don't, I don't need this and I don't need that. I just need myself. Like, the whole point of a tower moment is to show you that you do need help. No one builds a house by themselves, okay? They need people to hold this and, and grab this and hand me that, all right? Teamwork makes the dream work for sure. What's a, a card for Divine Mass? Mm, seven of Cups. You've had options and now you're only picking one person. I'm seeing the options, though. And some of you, the options were you were struggling with addiction. So Seven of Cups is addictions as well. Seven of Cups is struggling, you know, to make a decision. Seven of Cups is also like, you know, being indecisive. You can pick power, money, fame, or love. Which one do you want to pick? See, it's a snake in the grass. You can pick that. 
but you're deciding to choose different now. And I'm seeing that you're looking at your choices more and more thoughtfully now, is what I can say. You're considering things before you make choices. Divine Feminine, yours just flew out. Black Bear, Guardian, <laughs> look at you. Yours just flew out, Divine Feminine. It says, gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. And I'm seeing Divine Feminine, all you want to do is care for your person, care for the people around you. You don't want them to keep hitting their head. You don't want them to keep suffering. You don't want them to keep going through these things. But they have to because as much as you want to protect them, Father has them in their hands, okay? Their loved ones, their past loved ones have them, okay? So you have to just trust and release that that sense of, ah, I gotta, you know, keep them here. That mother bear kind of mentality, divine feminine. Because your person needs to bump their head a few times, if not, they'll never learn. If you keep saving them, they will never learn. So they have to learn. And then they have to make the right choices. You can't choose for them, okay? Give me a card for Divine Feminine. The lovers. That's been on your brain, Divine Feminine, for the last two days. It's love, and yes, love is here. The lovers. You just want to love them. I want to love you and treat you right. I don't know why that song's in my head now. That's all you want to do is love them, okay? And if you want that same love reciprocated, and I get it. But your masculine is still going through some things, okay? Regardless of if you agree with their past choices or not, they had to go through it. Keep that in mind, and that, that should soothe your soul a bit. They had to go through it in order to be the best person for you. They had to evolve themselves. You couldn't activate them. They had to activate themselves, okay? Even when it comes to addictions, as much as we see people going through addictions and things like that, you want to help them the most that you can, but they have to be the ones to decide to leave it alone. They have to make the decision. You can decide all day that this isn't right. Look at what you're doing to yourself. They, you cannot make that decision. They have to decide. Give me one for both, Father. Give me a, a spirit animal for both. This has been beautiful so far. Spirit animal for, for both is squirrel, always prepared. Y'all are prepared for anything, okay? I just heard ready for whatever. It says you are expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a, a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Squirrel. <laughs> all you need, okay? And want. I'm hearing all you want as well because Father will give you the blessings of all the things that you desire in your heart, especially your wants and needs, okay? And I'm just seeing that, you know, when it comes to love, again, you have to release the past and the things that have happened the mistakes that have occurred let go give me one for both father the moon all these illusions don't be fooled by anything that's happened even when it comes to secrets because everything that's happened isn't out yet when it comes to y'all's connections everything that's happened is not out yet i can sit here and tell y'all a few things but some things are just gonna be you know hidden from you because they're not necessary to your production in life. They're not necessary for the next steps. Some things, yes, accountability is necessary. Some secrets will be revealed. However, some things need to be kept from you because they don't matter. They do not matter going forward, okay? So be careful of some illusions that we create in our head, the things that our mind does to us, plays tricks on us, okay? Be careful. So that's what I have for you all. Thank you so much for your time. Let's go to the last video for today. Y'all know I ended with some love, so let's get into it. Thank you so much for your time. Hi, everybody. Okay, so this is my last <laughs> message for today, okay? This will complete our reading for today. Let's get some angel love in here. So I got the angels cards here, and I also have an angel uh, oracle that I'm going to give you just one for the end of this, okay? So let me get two cards for Divine Masculine and two for Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine, what would you like to tell Divine Masculine, Father? Divine Masculine, there's two. Honeymoon and unrequited love. Whew, I just heard the honeymoon is over, okay? The honeymoon phase is over. When it comes to these karmic relationships, it was unrequited. These people didn't love you as much as you thought they loved you. 
It was just that honeymoon phase that felt good. And now you're seeing it. Divine Masculine, you're actually seeing that the honeymoon is over with. You don't enjoy them anymore. They don't enjoy you anymore. The honeymoon phase is over. Real love goes through real trials and tribulations and gets out of it. Fake things, things that are illusion, it feels good for the moment and that's it. It's unrequited, okay? Divine Masculine, it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Talking about the karmic situation, this third party, this other person. You know, not your divine feminine. And then it says honeymoon, enjoy the time of holiday bliss together. Holiday time is over. When the holidays are over, so is the fun. <laughs> when the party stops, so does the fun stop. And fun needs to be when it's not. Even in the hardest moments, you need to learn love. And you're, you have that sort of love for your divine feminine. So the honeymoon phase for your karmic situation is over with and it's unrequited and you're seeing it. That's actually what's helping you transform Divine Masculine. You're seeing that it's not love there. You're seeing it. You're seeing that you don't love this person and this person doesn't have enough love for you either. Give me two for Divine Feminine, Father. There's one, two. Ah, oh, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I told you guys, Divine Feminine, y'all are gonna have these conversations with your, your Divine Masculine that are gonna be hard, but they're necessary. Again, the only way to get through grief and resentment is to go through it. You have to have these hard conversations to get through it because it's worth the wait. It's worth waiting for. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings toward each other, with each other. So all your feelings, you know, if you feel upset, say it. If you feel anger, say it. The best way to get it out is to get it out. When you bottle it all in, it just grows and it grows and it grows. And then it starts to cut off those lights in your heart and then your light goes out. And that's not because you can't love, it's because you turn your heart off. And your heart is the biggest thing that needs to thrive, not only for you and your person, but for the world. The world needs more love. And that's up to you to show it, okay? Shine your light, okay? Worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. So it is worth waiting for. Again, like I keep saying, your masculine is going through some things. Tower moment after tower moment after tower moment. And you know you love your person. So at this point, it is worth waiting for. Your person is going through it. And even if it's something that you don't agree with, again, some decisions that you didn't agree with, some decisions that they made that they had to make because they had to go through it. They had to figure out that that wasn't the best action for them to take. And so now they're at a place where they have to rebuild, okay? 333, as I say that, the ancestors are taking care of them. Don't worry about it. Bottom of the deck energy for both of you all is... You deserve love, y'all both do. True love with this divine connection. Two people coming together for a divine purpose. True love. Y'all can get through anything. Your love can stand the test of time is what Father is telling me. You deserve true love. And it is worth waiting for, okay? Let's get an angel card for both of you all. Father, give me an angel card for both to wrap this up. Give me an angel card for both in this one. <laughs> Barbara Dale. I love her. She is the angel of the 11th hour. When things feel hopeless, whew, here she comes, okay? And she comes with a sword to let go of everything. You need to let that person go, let that person go, let that person go. It feels like a tower moment and it's gonna feel that way because they're, they're releasing you from these chains that you've chained yourself to, these people you've chained yourself to. It says, I hope you find courage to do things you're afraid to do and help you pull off the impossible. No cause is lost. No cause is lost. She's the angel of offense and defense. The Hail Mary pass, okay? She's the angel of taking a risk, the reincarnate, <coughs> and grants long life. So we just talked about the, um, the spirit animals and how your, your ancestors come back to show you signs and symbols through spirit animals as well, okay? So let that give you hope. Go outside today. Both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine go outside today. See what you can see. I mean, looking for a sign is not, it's not a negative thing. Something's going to speak to you. Whether you see a butterfly representing transformation, see a dragonfly representing speed, lightheartedness, because they're the fastest ones. They zip, zip, zip through the air, okay? Being lighthearted and loving, okay? It says pray for guidance. That's your action is to pray for guidance. So pray for guidance, okay? The number 13 might be significant as well. 
as well. 13, 13, or three plus one is four, so four, 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 all is well. Things are happening for you, not against you. As much as it might feel like it's happening against you, okay? That's what I have for you all today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, so much. Um, if any of this resonated, go to JustStrandGuide.com. I am taking personal bookings. Um, so you can book your personal private reading there. Also, this whole video will be available on YouTube very shortly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Hearts, hearts, hearts. And I will see y'all next time.